Hey, it's Joe here. In a previous video on my Philips Hue Smart Lighting, I mentioned I also use a couple of other smart light brands. In this video, I'll give a short overview of both the LifeX Beam and the Nano Leaf Canvas, comparing a few features and suggesting where you might want to choose one over the other. I'll start with the Beam from LifeX, who also offer smart bulbs and light strips. The Beam is a collection of six translucent bars and a single small corner square that all have little magnetic connectors at the ends. The bars and corner square can attach to a smooth surface using the Velcro type command strips, which makes them relatively easy to take off and reposition. It connects through Wi-Fi and there is a companion app that allows you to do the setup and control the lights. Not only can you choose a wide array of colors for the whole beam, but you can also use the palette to paint individual sections. Its polychrome technology is similar to the Philips Hue Gradient Tech, where there are multiple color zones along the single light, allowing different colors to blend together. Where you really see this feature shine is when you go into the effects menu, where you can select a number of really cool effects, including a flicker, strobe, color cycling, random, and my personal favorite, which is move. There's also a music visualizer, which although it works well, needs to use a mic on your phone. I do wish it had an inbuilt mic as it's a bit of an inconvenience to do this. The Beam lives in my hallway and can integrate with If This Then That, my Amazon and Google voice assistants, as well as Siri via Apple HomeKit. I also have a Samsung SmartThings hub, which I utilize for some simple home automations. For the Beam, I have it set so if the motion sensor in the hallway is triggered, the light will turn on for 10 seconds, if it's between sunset and sunrise. Very useful for seeking downstairs for a midnight snack or on the way through the hallway, carrying too much stuff to be able to use the light switch. There's also a scheduler in the app, allowing you to set when the lights go on and off. Now, Nanoleaf has some interesting options, including triangular, hexagonal, and square shaped panels. The square ones are the Nanoleaf canvas, which I've opted for in my daughter's room. These are modular, and although the initial purchase was the nine square starter kit, it's hard not to be tempted into extending when seeing all the possibilities on Pinterest. So another 12 squares were added before making the final design, which as you can see, is pretty random. They come with these small linkers, which can connect in a few different places, giving you more flexibility when creating your design. And the companion Nanoleaf app has a layout assistant, so you can try it all out and check you have the linkers set in the right place before you commit to putting it all up. How does it go up, you ask? Like the LifeX Beam, it uses command strips, but it uses the smaller standard ones without Velcro. I also appreciated how quickly the app recognized additional squares once I connected them via the linkers. The canvas can be controlled through the Nanoleaf app, but also has touch buttons on the control tile, which lets you turn it off and on, control the brightness, and cycle through different scenes. It also allows you to create your own scenes and color combinations, but the app makes it very easy to download additional preset scenes. Some scenes also have transitioning color combinations, and there are even some that react to music, with the canvas sporting an inbuilt mic, unlike the beam. On top of this, a standout feature is the touch sensitivity, which makes the canvas a lot more interactive. You can actually play games on it, including Whack-A-Mole, The Memory Game, and Simon Says, which can all be downloaded as additional scenes. There's also touch gestures built in for an alternative method of control, and these are also customizable. The canvas also works with this and that, and other home assistants, such as the ones from Amazon, Google, and Apple. Looking at alternatives, I already mentioned Govi in my Philips Hue overview video. I use one of their light strips on my desk, and it's been a solid piece of hardware. The company have been very busy and seemingly have an affordable alternative to most popular smart light designs. The Govi Glide wall light is definitely inspired by the LifeX Beam, and the Govi Hexa panels have seemingly taken a leaf out of the Nanolease book. Govi have some very interesting offerings and I think it's worth considering them. The Govi app has also been updated with a smart section, but I'm not sure to what degree the Govi lights can be linked together like the Hue Entertainment areas. I think the most you can do is group them by room and don't think a continuous gradient across lights is possible like with the Hue. But if you have experience with this with different Govi lights, let me know in the comments. A lot of these lights came out this year, so I would definitely expect updates to be incoming. I definitely say to check the reviews and get an idea from people who've used their own money to buy the individual items, as the quality and user experience may not always be the same across brands. So here I'll highlight a couple of the main issues I experienced with both lights. So the main annoyance I had with both was the setup, which can either be very quick or painstakingly tedious. I've had to turn off the 5GHz radio on my Wi-Fi routers, both lights can only use a 2.4GHz radio. 
It took a few tries to connect and I also bound the lights to a specific Wi-Fi router node as I use a mesh Wi-Fi system and that seemed to help. I've also had to re-add the devices after updates to my router and I did find the Hue light setup easier, potentially because I only needed to add one connection to the router, the Hue Bridge 2.0 and I did this via Ethernet. All my other Hue lights connecting to the bridge use Zigbee, a different wireless protocol so less reliance on Wi-Fi. Another thing I wasn't a fan of is the LifeX Beams connector from the power supply to the end bar. It's a bit of a knob shape and although it is magnetic, which helped, I did experience disconnections due to the weight of the wire before I got my cable trunk in sorted. I much rather the canvas and its mini linker design which effectively plugs into one of the linker spaces on the tile. The connections seem a lot more robust and I've never had any disconnections with it. I think one or both of these issues I experienced with the beam could have contributed to times where the beam hasn't fully illuminated all the bars. This is an issue I've seen pop up on Amazon reviews and I thought I'd got unlucky also with a dodgy model but after retaking some of the steps I briefly touched on regarding the setup I haven't experienced any outages since. So this was a short overview of a couple of the smart lights I'm using. I think due to its shape the beam can easily be put around a door frame, above a TV or monitor and quite a few other places where you don't want it looking too busy. It would definitely work for the minimalist and I really like the blending of lights due to the polychrome technology and effects which definitely catch the eye. The Nanoleaf canvas can also start small with a starter pack of four tiles but if you want to increase this you can with add-on packs with one power supply able to support up to 25 tiles and one controller tile being able to control up to 500 tiles. This gives a lot more flexibility in design. I also think the interactivity with both the games and music syncing make it the more versatile and interesting option. The LifeX Beam and Nanoleaf Canvas 9 square starter packs can both be around £180 or $200 although I am seeing some lower prices. I've also seen the Beam on sale a couple of times and a free tile with some canvas packs. If I had to choose just one I'd probably go for the canvas for that versatility. But both are great options and it just depends on the look and feel that you're going for. It's also worth checking out the Gobi offerings as they may fit your needs better and are more competitively priced. Let me know in the comments if you know of any other alternatives that you choose to replace the beam or the canvas. Thanks very much for watching, I hope this was useful if you're maybe looking at smart lighting options or just a fan of bright lights and sparkly things like me. Feel free to drop a like and I'll catch you in the next one.